Hey guys, how we doing? I'm back, Chris Matan with the Real Estate Machine Show and the Modern Success Formula. So uh, we're now moving on. We've touched on the two C's in the Modern Success Formula, and I'm very excited to get into the two P's of the Modern Success Formula. So buckle up, and here we go. So success, or, uh, the first P, the first core value P, stands for patience. Mentioned that in the um, you know in my kind of thirty five thousand foot view patience, you know, how, 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 how much do all of us need a little bit more patience in our life and in our, our interactions with people and our reactions, most importantly, to things that happen that, that, that events that come about that develop and um, what's going on in our daily lives, what's going on with a business uh, dealing or a, maybe a real estate transaction or a part we're making in the machine right? Or, or programming in the machine, right? I'm kind of touching on my manufacturing side of my life here. Patience. Patience is the most, is probably the most valuable uh, trait. I don't know. Is that a trait? Principle, belief, core value. It's probably number one. If you can exercise, if you can increase your patience or become more patient, just incrementally, just a tiny, tiny bit, I think it would just pay off in so many different ways. Um, you know, for example, you know, uh, something happens, somebody says something to you that, you know, triggers something that you don't like, you know, if you're able to give yourself five seconds, 10 seconds to just kind of like stop and process it and really, really hear what that person is saying, you, you, you may, uh, avoid or sidestep a major argument or a major, uh, a fiasco because of that. And you never know where somebody's coming from, what they're telling you, why they're saying it, how, the, why, why they're saying it the way they're saying it and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, you can control your reaction. And the only way to control it, control your reaction is to exercise a tiny, tiny bit of patience. And, um, that's why I think that it's, uh, that's why it's up there. And that's why it's not the number, the first, the first P in the modern success formula. You got to exercise patience. I can't tell you how many times where, you know, I want to fire back a text message or fire back an email based on something that somebody told me or said, or some event that happened or, or somebody needs something. And I want to act and react right away, you know, and, you know, I do that, you know, again, this is coming back to my own personality. I do that for two reasons. Number one, I want to, I want to, I want to give the answer as quickly as possible to kind of get it off my plate and also to let that person know that I am there, I'm engaged, I'm ready, I'm available, all that crap. So, but, but there's a big, but patience has got to be exercised because the reaction that you give in the split second might be a lot different than the reaction you give or the answer you give after 10 seconds or a minute or a day even. And I can be on the shop. Here's, this is an example. This is a shop floor example. Guy comes to me with a question on the print or a question on how to do something or how, how it should be done and all this stuff. And listen, I'm the first to admit that I'm probably not the, the best resource to tell somebody how to machine a part. However, when, I, when they ask me the question, what I do is I just kind of sit there quietly and I listen to them and I don't say a word. I just sit there and then they end up, they just continue to talk. They continue to ask the question. They continue to try to problem solve without even realizing it. They're problem solving on their own and they come up with the answer. And the reason why they're coming up with the answer is because I'm just letting them uh, be and letting them kind of solve that problem. I'm sure there's a lot of women out there that wish their husbands or boyfriends or significant others would shut up while they're telling them a problem and not trying to look at it and they're not looking for a solution, right? I know some of you can relate to that. So if us guys out there could just exercise a little patience and silence while our other side is speaking to us and, uh, you know, coming at us with some kind of a problem, however big or small it is, just kind of sit there in patience and silence and, and let, and let things kind of process and, uh, marinate.
for a while. So patience is a, is, goes a long way in the modern success formula. And the more patience that you have and the more time you give yourself to process a thing, uh, the better off you'll be. So patience is the, the second, the first P in the modern success formula. I hope that, uh, that uh, kind of gives you some things to think about. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.